I was never active as a kid. The majority of my time as a kid was just me sitting in my room and wondering about learning the alphabet. Or why is the dark so dark? Or when do I get to eat food? And where does it go once I'm done with it? But the most important question of all was, are aliens real? But the most important question of all was, When was I able to watch TV? <laughs> oh, man, TV was everything to me as a kid, and I enjoyed every single second of it. And I can honestly say, because of TV, I am the man who I am today. Now, I was born in the year 2000, and it's said that during the late 90s and early 2000s, the cartoon boom effect happened. Cartoons were evolving, and they were growing in numbers as well. For over 17 years, we have been gifted with creative, clever, and freshly made cartoons that has laid the foundation for cartoons for generations. These creative and timeless cartoons has helped inspired as well as enlighten many kids just like myself. It really was a time to be alive and I enjoyed every second of it. And it wasn't just Western animation either. Everything changed when I discovered a new type of animation style. <laughs> Anime was freaking awesome, and everything about it was awesome. The music, the art style, the story, everything. And it was mind-blowing. This really opened my eyes to the different types of animation that can be produced by different countries. And after watching the best anime in the world, Cory in the house. Listen up. Here we go. I'm the kid. Moving in. moment when I wanted to know. How do I do this? How do I take my ideas written out, see them move, with music and voice acting in the background? How can I replicate the hilarity of Gumball? Or learn to write such memorable and lovable characters like in Gravity Falls? or tell an ingenious story like in Young Justice. Well, if anything that I just said interests you, or if it doesn't, I mean, I don't, I don't really give a fuck, then there is a career path I think you would be interested in. It's called an animation director. Now then, you may be asking yourself, what's an animation director? Let's find out, shall we? In my hands, I'm carrying it, a loaded rifle on it, I wrote your name. So what does an animation director do exactly? Well, an animation director... <laughs> ...directs things. <laughs> a director is a person who directs the making of a project. Or, to make it easier, the director is like the leader of the project. A director controls the artistic, dramatic, and technical values of the project. A director must choose the people who will help him make the finished product. Now, this is a lot, so uh, prepare yourself. The director must choose actors, key animators, the art style, shots, and panels, when the music stops and ends, as well as the composer, sound effects, choreography, the story, and has to make sure you're not broke before you can finish it. Now, as you can probably see, that's a huge weight to be carrying. And if you want to be an animation director, it requires more skills than equipment. Here, I'll go over them. Animation director needs good time management skills. This is because you need to meet certain deadlines when it comes to making these TV shows. Good leadership skills is a must. Also, it's good to have good communication skills as well, since you're gonna be talking a lot during your conferences and you have to get your ideas out.
Another skill you should learn when trying to become an animation director is learning how to control your stress. The job requires a lot of time and effort, but the job builds character, and plus, when it's all said and done, it'll all be worth it in the end. You need to learn how to work as a team. Now, I'm gonna be honest. I hate group projects. I can't stand them. Usually it's just me surrounded by a bunch of idiots who don't do their work, and I don't really learn a lot from them. But it's a skill I'm gonna need to learn if I'm gonna become an animation director, so I'll manage. Now when it comes to schooling and education, it is recommended that you get your bachelor's degree first, even though it's not really needed. And now, the important part. for an animation director is usually about $71,000. Trying to get into the career of an animation director. Now, if you're lucky, usually a big company will allow you to just work as an animation director for your first time, but that doesn't happen a lot. Usually, you'll be working for about four or five years around the industry so you can get your feet around. But hey, who knows? So, who are some noteworthy animation directors? Well, there is Jay Olivia, who did Justice League War and Young Justice, J.G. Quintel, who made Regular Show, and our Lord and Savior, Hayao Miyazuki. An animation director's job takes a lot of work to do. It requires good leadership and communication skills, which is something not everyone has. But as I said, the job builds character. You need to learn how to trust your team so you can make the finished product. So, that covers pretty much everything. Okay, uh, how do I end this? Uh, let me think. Um, here you go.